Hey guys, it's Dragonite here bringing you episode 13 of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last part, we did a lot of stuff, but mostly I got my boomerang. Anyway, um, now that we have, like, um... Now that we've done a bunch of stuff, like, and gotten all these new items, before we, like, advance in the story, I want to show a few things that I should have done in the last episode. So, for one, we're going to go over... No, not to Lon Lon Ranch. It's on our way there, though. You're gonna want to use your little cane of Pocky right here. And that boosts you up here to the Veal Falls. This is something we shouldn't be here until, like, later in the game, but we have access to it now. We can't really do anything about it since, um... Well, there's just a bunch of water. We can't really do anything. So, but... I did want to get this piece of heart right here, which will get us a new heart container. So, let's take care of these. You know, never mind. Anyway, I think the only way to kill those guys over there, like the ones that are dropping bombs, is to like make them hit themselves with their own bomb. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. I've never really done it. I did one off. I killed one off screen with its own bomb, but but besides that, not really. Anyway, now I'm going to travel all the way over to the Minish Woods, because I believe that's where we're supposed to go next. Just angling the boomerang. It's fun to do. Ooh. I can't believe I missed this. We'll do the secret powers with Gregi, the power of wind, or whatever it is. Anyway, now we have a little tablet over there. Anyway, let's keep going. We're gonna want to take the... Wait, I don't think there's a south entrance. Or, like, exit. Anyway, uh, let's keep going. We're gonna want to go down this time from Lon Lon Ranch. Make our way to Al. To the eastern hills. Oh, wait. Uh, the little farmer dudes over there are now farming. We can go inside their house and take all their money. And... Uh, seriously? Last time I came here, they had ten rupees. Anyway, they each have kinstone fusions, I believe. This one will... Well, you'll see. <laughs> oh? I feel so much stronger now. Here we go! And then he gets the power to break down that wall, so now we can go in. If I could figure out how to get over there. <laughs> yeah, so off he goes. Yep, Lon Lon Ranch. Like directly below us. And this guy right here. We have a Kinstone Fusion for him as well. And he has a treasure chest right here in Mount Crenel. All the way over there in that rock climbing section. So we probably won't get that now, but if we have to go back there, like over there sometime, I'll be sure to get it. Anyway, for now, let's just beat those guys up for trying to hit me. Yeah, rupee. Now you're going to want to get your cane of Pocky out again to go to this little hole. And go over here. It's in a secret part of the Minish Woods, so you can't get through to any other way. And there's a little, um, whatever. And another great fairy cave. The music here is just so peaceful. Welcome to the Adventurer's Spring. I need many rupees right now. Please throw all of your rupees into the spring. Well, I don't really remember how many I had, but it's probably not all that much, so sure. Really? You know that if you do this, you will have absolutely no rupees left, right? Will you really throw them all in? Oh, sure. You're most kind. I do not really need your rupees. Oh, she was trolling me, huh? But I must reward such a kind adventurer with all my power. And you get a big wallet, so now you can carry, like, 500 rupees or something. And we're o And there's only, like... I think there's only, like, one wallet upgrade after this. So yeah, we got a big wallet for our adventure. As you can see now, our little rupee icon's red, showing we can hold even more rupees. 
Uh, yeah, so let's try and figure out how to get up on that little ledge thing. Not really sure. I don't think we can do it till later in the game, so... For now, let's just go advance in the plot. So, back to Hyrule Castle Town. Oh, we're already there. Jeez. Anyway, uh, if you had blown away all the dust, like I said to do before, you'll get this little dude who's obviously from another country, and he's selling charms to put in your jars. Sadly, my jar is already filled with a fairy, but I'll show you guys what they do anyway. Well, I'll explain it. One of them makes it so you'll gather more rupees in the field. One of them makes it so you'll gather more, um, like, hidden stones in the field. And the other one makes it so you gather more, um, mysterious shells in the field. Like when you're just, like, cutting grass and stuff. So, you know, it's okay. Seems like Stogwell does not have anything for us. Not that he would, because we haven't made a lot of plot progress. After this lady gets out of the way... Jeez, now I can go into the coffee shop. And now that you have the Cayman Pocky, you can flip over this pot. I know it's kind of weird as I've never actually been in this place before, but now you can flip over this pot and... Transformation time! And sadly, I cannot skip the cutscene as this is the first time we went into a jar. I think. That's right, even some human objects are portals to the Minish world. Those Minish may not look like much, but they sure are quite crafty. Yes, they are. As though, yes, they are. Wait, why are you referring to yourself? Why don't you just... You know, whatever. But let's go talk to the birdie. He's all chirping. And he has a little kinstone fusion for us. And we can actually do it. I remember the first time I went through this game, I couldn't actually do the kinstone fusion with him, so I want to see what he actually has to say. And it's over here in the garden? Ugh! Another golden snake. The first one was hard enough. Do I really have to fight another one? Anyway, um... I don't know whether I've showed you guys or not, but there's a little dog in the way on the bridge over here. But now that we can cross that bridge with the Minish, uh, we can actually... Yeah, but now he's not blocked. As soon... Oh, he has a Kinstone Fusion for us, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, Kinstone Fusion with Growler gets rid of the spikes in a um, place full of trees. Man, I feel like I'm not talking, like I'm just mumbling. Okay, North Hyrule Field, I'll be for sure to get sure to get that. Now we want to go in here. If you ever see flowers behind the house, that's an entrance into the house through a minish like doorway. And now we're going to want to go over here and transform back without anyone noticing. And now that we're over here is the minish get people. The growler will now... It, it, growler. Please don't prove me wrong. Get out of the way, man. Growler, come on. Okay, I'll be right back until he gets out of the way. Okay, it turns out he was just being a jerk and wouldn't move. So, let's go ahead and get back to the game. Um, there's that over there. Um, we're going to want to advance in the plot of the story, I think. Not just be a, make another lazy episode like I did yesterday, or the, whenever it was that I made that last episode. Anyway, we're going to want to keep going, and now we're in the western woods. This is where we're going to want to be to make the plot progress. And the boomerangs make every enemy pretty much a piece of cake now. So, let's just keep going, and... Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, we're going to want to go up here. If you actually read that sign like I did not before in my practice run, you'd know this is where we need to go. The Caster Wilds. So this must be Caster Wilds. It's a nasty, dank place filled with swampland and mire. But we know there's an element waiting for us somewhere in here, so... In we go. Come on, Matt. Into the muck with us. I thought you didn't want to get dirty, as though. Yeah, but you can use Boomerang to kill this crazy-looking grass. Ooh, Kinstone! That's nice. Okay. And we're gonna want... You can do it, Link. Come on! And... That didn't work. Hey, Matt, wash your feet. You're sinking. You're sinking. If you sink all the way in, I'm going to get all muddy. I don't think we can just walk across the swamp. We're going to have to find some way to get across safely. We can discuss it later. Get me out of here now. Okay, little brat. He's acting like my brother. 
In fact, today's actually my little brother, one of my little brother's birthdays. He's turning like five today. He's the little brat, but whatever. Ah! I can't believe I actually got away from that guy. Yeah, but you're gonna want to read this. Caster while it's danger. Don't forget your Pegasus boots. That's what we're gonna need. That's the item we're gonna need if we want to um get across the Caster Wilds. And we only know one shoemaker, I think. Well, I know a shoemaker. Do you guys know a shoemaker? Probably not. Ha! <laughs> Killed a bird with a boomerang. One bird with one boomerang. It's not the same. Oh wait, I forgot something. Let's gonna use this the bomb to blow up this wall right here. And I was right. And I, I just, I'll bring the rock in. And it's a little fairy fountain with some water. So let's fill our, oh, I guess I didn't have a full jar. Still, I don't find the charms that useful. Is there, not, well, I don't think they're that expensive. I think they're only like 20, I'm not sure. I never use them, so I wouldn't know. Let's go ahead and grab a fairy with our boomerang. Get over here. Okay, whatever, you can live this time. Anyway, let's keep going up to the shoemaker that I know. I'm pretty sure I've showed him off before, but I didn't really explain what he was. Anyway, let's just keep going. We're gonna wanna go down here to like the main hub with all the stores. And we're gonna go into the shop with the shoe. And then right as we come in, he, he's, he's been drugged. Okay, so, wait, where'd all the shoes go? They were like right here. That's strange. Okay, let's go up here then. And there's Minish. Say, hey, hey, you're Matt, right? You're the one who brought the store on the, the... Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Point is, ho yeah, we need Pegasus boots, but he's sleeping. And there's only one thing that wakes him up, and you're gonna need to go to Syrup's hut for it. It's right here in the Minish woods. Okay, that, uh, I don't want to talk to all three of you. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I am going, jeez. And before I forget, I'm going to go back to North Hyrule Field to pick up that little treasure gate. Because I don't want to miss it. Because normally they're pretty cool. It's either going to be like money or a pinstone. Which, you know, I can always use another one of those or some money. Because I'm actually a little low on money. I didn't really have much to give to that spirit. And look good, I already blew up the stone. Yeah, so let's just keep looking. I know there was a tree somewhere in here that I blew up. Oh, there it is. It has a stairway. And it's a fairy fountain. Great. Like, I need any more fairies. Okay, well, I'm gonna walk all the way to the Midish Woods, and I'm not going to cut it, because why would I do that in a platformer? At least, I think that's what this game is. Pokemon's RPG is Zelda's platformer. Got it. I don't really understand the difference between the two games. I understand, like, RPGs have, like, your stats and stuff, like speed and power and defense. But no, I really don't understand what makes a platformer a platformer. I think Mega Man's a platformer. I'm really not sure. I'm not that good when it comes to, like... Uh, did you seriously just do that, man? I'm just not really that sure when it comes to that kind of stuff. Anyway, now that we're in the Midish Woods, let's check our map to see where exactly her hut is found it. Hmm. Well, by the looks of it, we're gonna need to cross water or something to be able to get to it. Or we need to get up here in Lon Lon Ranch and take, like, a secret exit. So, I think I took the wrong way. So, I will meet you guys back in Lon Lon Ranch. Uh, well, actually, no. I'm just gonna walk there. We're only at 14 minutes. I think I'll make the episode a little longer. I'm surprised how long the last episode was. It was, like, really long. We need to get over here somehow. So, it's probably going to take me a while to figure all this stuff out. Uh, well, they're looking for their house key. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I don't, I don't really have enough time to talk to the NPCs, so I'm just going to go inside their house. And now we're going to want to break all these pots. Two. And three. Nice. So we got a key and three rupees. Pretty good if I do say so myself. 
and let's go back behind the, tr the house so I can go resize. I'm surprised no one actually like sees us do this, just like shrink to the size of a pea. Anyway, talk to the big guy right there, who's kind of dressed like Mario. Our, only, our one and only Sparky, I don't know how you got this, but I can't thank you enough. Tell me your name, kid. Matt, that's a great name. If you ever need to go to Lake Helia, you're free to cut through our house. Oh, that's a nice little jingle. Thank you very much, Matt. Come visit us again. I don't know whether she's appeared in any other games, but that's a really nice little jingle she has there. And... Wonder if he... Yeah, Wonder if he... Great. Okay, let's cut through the house, because I really don't want to make this episode too long, and I'm already making it kind of long, so... This is kind of turning out bad. Come on, come on, come on. Wait a minute. Hmm, finish way. Tree. Hole. Okay, guys, I am sorry, but I really don't want this episode getting too long, so I think I'm going to stop it right here. In the next part, we're going to be making our way up to Syrup the Witch's Hut, so stay tuned for it, I guess. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.